Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Another day of footies and another day where it seems like EA is trying to mud all of our clubs in FIFA 22 because another player pick SBC of pretty high value has been dropped. The 93 plus shapeshifter player pick dropped yesterday. We had an 86 plus player pick as well. And the 50th and final Swap token was available via SBC yesterday. I want to take a look at everything that dropped yesterday, how a lot of people's clubs are feeling pretty mudded, even mine included, with just fodder that I had in my club. All of these SBCs and player picks and all of the gamble, the fun packs this week, have really drained a lot out of people's clubs. So I want to take a look at that, and we have some new footies leaks related to cards that maybe could come this week during footies but also some cards that we expect to come on friday with another dynamic duo that is leaked and another footies favorite card for our next favorite spc we will talk about those here in this video today and also again like i mentioned in yesterday's video i think that it is time for some of these cards that are out of packs especially especially some of your team of the season cards that are Premier League that have really gone up a lot this week. Since yesterday's content was good, but not like, you know, breaking, you know, making people wanted to go do it instantly uh, since it was pretty expensive. A lot of your Premier League cards have continued to rise up and a card like this Joao Cancelo, I think could be back in packs this weekend and has potential to drop. So we're going to take a look at all that and more in today's video. If you're having an, a fun time on footies in this game right now, hit the thumbs up and of course subscribe. If you are new, let's talk about how EA is all trying to mud our clubs at the moment because they're dropping player pick SBCs that are cool, that we want to do, that are fun, but they're just they're just kind of too expensive and they're just so repetitive, which is like almost a good problem to complain about that we're getting a lot of really good content, but they're also not supplying SBC fodder. So all of these SBCs they're putting out continue to get more expensive and more expensive. People have opened their fodder swaps packs if they were going to open for batch one of footies. And it just, I feel like, has a lot of people saying, like, oh my goodness, Nate, my club is mudded. I don't have enough gold cards to do these SBCs or that, or I don't want to go out and spend 12, 13,000 coins per player pick to do the 82 plus player picks because gold to like 1.6k a piece for the rare golds. It, people don't want to spend those sorts of coins right now when we don't have like the most elite tier cards in packs like the shapeshifters, like the team of the season cards. And I 100% get that. And I think that's smart. If you're taking that route right now and you're like, Nate, I don't have much fodder in my club. I wouldn't be too worried because all of this content that we're getting right now is probably going to drop and even better content is going to drop in the next two to three weeks as we get later through on footies and we have better cards re-released in packs like the shapeshifters, like the tots cards. And I think for tots cards specifically, that's probably going to start this weekend with batch number two. But again, yesterday fodder continued to go higher. Now, how do we know fodder went higher? I can tell you an easy way to look at it. Take a look at this Pushkas SBC. Yesterday, he was 1.35 million coins to do, and now today, he is 1.4 million coins to do. If you take a look at the, the, even the hourly graph, basically since content yesterday, he has gone up about 100,000 coins in price. He was like 135, now he's all the way up at like 144, 143 to complete his SBC. Fodder is on the rise. If you have any tradable fodder left in your club, if you invested in this stuff, I think it's probably a decent opportunity in the next day. Today on Wednesday is probably going to be a good time to do it because tomorrow on Thursday we are going to get some people that will be getting some milestone reward packs. And it's not going to supply fodder that much and it's going to supply it untradeable, of course, not tradable. But I think it would just be a decent time to take money, especially on some of your 83s, your 84s, your 85s. You know, 84s may not go back down to like 4K this weekend. They might go down to like, you know, four and a half thousand coins. But I still think that selling in this bubble that we are in right now when there's like zero supply is probably the best way to do it. And if you're kind of like me where you're, I'm actually pretty broke on fodder at the moment. I know that I have coins and I will do a lot more player picks to, to restock. And I want to get guys like the Havertz SBC done. I want to do more 82 plus player picks. I, I still want to do the, the second 93 plus shapeshifters pick. But if I go in my club and take a look at cards at the moment, besides cards that I'm keeping kind of like for the end game club, just to, you know, keep, I'm after doing a set of player picks, have a little bit more in here, but you know, 
my club besides 83s i don't have that much high rated fodder at 87 86 85 and i even bought some of those cards to do an SBC. So like I'm a little bit in the mud as well. And I know a lot of other people in this game are even more mudded, but that's just kind of a testament to the good content that we are getting, right? It's kind of a tough scenario where we're getting really good SBCs. Like we have three player picks, three different player picks right now that are all giving out really high level players or an opportunity at giving out high level players with the footies player pick, the Premier League campaign bag. We had the Premier League tots or shapeshifters. We actually have four we actually have four of those player picks right now giving out good stuff. We have the 85 times 10. It's going to come back tomorrow on Thursday. So if you have some mid to low tier fodder as well, make sure you're holding on to that because I would prioritize an 85 times 10 over any of the player picks or any of the SBCs that have been coming out recently. So after your milestone rewards on Thursday or your division rivals rewards, maybe a couple player picks, that's what I would try to focus your fodder on. But I totally understand how a lot of people right now feel like they're just in the mud in terms of fodder and it just the prices keeps going up and a lot of people just keep turning in cards and their clubs are in the mud and that that just happens every year during footies because again the content is great and the content is also coming out at such a rapid pace because ea know they have to keep people interested in the summertime on this game but again people are still liking it because fodder keeps going up and people are doing these SBCs. So that's kind of the situation with the market, uh, with the fodder side of things and what's going on with that. Today on Wednesday, some people were saying, yo, Nate, could we even get another player pick SBC today? Because Wednesdays during shapeshifters were like pretty big days, right? We would get that 93 plus shapeshifter player pick on um, Wednesdays of the past few weeks. Now we got that player pick yesterday on Tuesday. So now it's kind of has us, has us thinking like, what in the world is going to happen today? since the footies Wednesday. Well, a couple things that I would expect to see today. Number one would be probably a vote for whatever our next voting is going to be. Our first one happened last Wednesday, if you remember, with Juan Misaka, Luis Diaz, and Kai Havertz. So I would imagine that today on Wednesday, we would see a vote of the next three players. And then the winner of that would get an SBC this coming Friday for batch two and the second week of footies. And then just like Havertz did, a, a later release, I think the second place winner of that SBC would get a SBC later on in the weekend. So watch out for a vote today. Maybe a loading screen, but probably not until Thursday if they're going to do a loading screen for like the next cards that could be involved in footies batch number two. So really not too sure what content's going to be today. Technically, they don't have to drop any more tokens though because after dropping eight tokens on Monday, which they changed their Roman numerals here. Last night's video, we were like, yo guys, this is not I, 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 it's IV. Good job with the Roman numerals, EA, you switched it up, GG's. So they fixed that up. But we had the 50th token dropped yesterday. So all of the tokens have been released. Yes, I repeat, 50 out of 50 summer swaps, one tokens have been released. This was the very last one via SBC yesterday. So like myself included, I have all of my tokens now. I'll be turning in the 84.25 and the 85 times 20 this weekend on Friday for batch number two. And I think that's going to be my play because with the fodder that I get from those packs, I'm still going to be able to go out and do a 93 plus shapeshifters pick if I don't finish it before then. Um, the moments pick will still be available at that time. I probably won't do it though. Uh, and I'll have an 85 times 10 that I'll want to complete then as well. So there's still plenty of SBCs that if you're saving your fodder packs for, I think that's a decent move as well. It just kind of depends when you want to open your packs. And that's why I'm saving a few for this upcoming batch too. Now, speaking of more footies cards, we have some leaks to talk about. There's actually four cards that we will look at in today's video, another dynamic duo, and then two other footies SBCs that have been leaked. Now, the only question is, we're not sure kind of how this last week was Premier League related, right? We had the Mason Mount, the Reese James, the Kai Havertz, and the Luis Diaz, and Juan Bissaka was in the vote, right? It was very Premier League based. We sold some other cards, DePaul and Babu, and some other leagues represented, but it was Premier League based for the premium footies cards. And this leak right here has us thinking that this next week might be La Liga related. Going off of what we saw from last week, if EA are going to continue with this league specific theme, it might be La Liga's turn. But we're not entirely even sure with that because another of the leaks right now is an SBC that would contradict this. So this one though looks pretty fire. Dynamic Duo, Lodi, 
and Mateus Cunha. We're going from a Chelsea dynamic duo to a Atletico Madrid. EA loves Atletico Madrid. If you guys have noticed, they get lots of special cards. I don't know what the connection is, but GG's. This Ren and Lodi card, a lot of people, I think, would love to do. And this would be a really, really good left back. People loved his cards earlier on in the game this year. I actually hated his card earlier on in the game. The road to the, um, what is this? Road to the final or road to the knockouts? Whichever one it is, road to the knockouts. This guy, I mean, would always continue to go higher in price during Road to the Final live scenarios. I hated this guy earlier on the year because he was always tricky to make coins on. Uh, and he was very overinvested like all the time. But this card right here with the links that he has, people are going to love this item. Left, left back Brazil with the Atletico links. And of course, with the leak, that is a huge perfect link with Mateus Cunha. And Mateus Cunha has got a pretty nice card as well. He's got the future stars that I believe might even be in packs right now. And hopefully that this card with a footies version would get the five star skill move upgrade. He is six foot. He has the lean body type, outside foot shot, long shot taker. Kind of reminds me of like a Taliska type player, just not quite as tall, only six foot. But that could still be a pretty cool item if he gets five star skills with great links. We know Brazilian links are always very popular in FIFA. And, you know, think about Ren Lodi. That's a green link to Vinny Jr. You know, we have Marcelo cards in the game. Marcelo captains might take a hit because of Ren and Lodi since that's a left back card. But the Marcelo shapeshifter card, so many other Brazilian items in this game that people would love to link Lodi and Cunha with. So that's our first leak. And once again, those are premium footies items, right? The premium items that link like heroes. So any Brazil card or any, any La Liga card for that matter, green link. Pedri, green link to one of these guys. So that's pretty big for some squad building scenarios. When these get released, probably on Friday because the, the current dynamic duo of Mount and James goes away on Friday as well. Let's go into our next league because this is where things get a little bit tricky. Like, yo, if the dynamic duo is going to be La Liga, then why are we getting a Bundesliga footies SBC? This is a Kingsley Coman, which this is pretty cool. I think a lot of people are not a fan of this because, oh my goodness, it's another left mid. And I totally understand that, right? We just had so many right wings, right mids with Bale, with Royce. Now we're getting all these left mids with Luis Diaz, Kingsley Coman. It seems like a lot, right? Now, the only hope that I kind of have is that maybe they would position change him and that the leak is not showing that. In the leaked tweet, Foot Sheriff says that he is added to come via SBC he will receive new traits, including flare trait, which is nice because Coleman does not have a lot of traits. I mean, it's Bayern and it is France, so it's a really nice card. I think even Coleman had a card during Summer Heat a couple years ago. He's always good for a summer special card, and we haven't had a special Kingsley Coleman since the Winter Wild Cards um, from December. So it's a cool card to get a special for, but he needs five star skills. And the leak here shows him with the premium design. I'm not 100% convinced that he's going to drop as a premium card. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. Um, I, I feel like this might not be a premium card, and it just might be like a filler SBC that EA put, puts out as a footies item just to kind of pass the time because it feels like a while since we had a footies card, and it has been a few days. So I was maybe hoping this would drop yesterday, but it didn't. So either today, tomorrow... I don't know if this is going to be a piece of Friday content or not. We'll have to wait and see what happens with the vote today. I think the voting today will really tell us whether this week is going to be league specific with Bundesliga or with La Liga. But that's another league at the moment. Watch Alfonso Davies card. That could potentially be going up. One thing I also want to mention is because of this leak right here, a lot of people are saying, oh my goodness, that means they're going to drop La Liga based uh, a, a La Liga based cup, right? We had Premier League based last week. So people started investing in La Liga cards yesterday after this leak came out because they were like, oh my goodness, EA is going to release a friendly cup again that requires 18 cards from the same club. Just like we saw the bronzes and the silvers from like, you know, um, Manchester City, Manchester United, Liverpool, Chelsea, those clubs go up from the Premier League. A lot of people even went out to La Liga clubs like Barcelona and they were buying some of these silvers up and, and bronzes up on the market. And you can see that they're up like 3K, 3,000 coins for a Barcelona bronze card at the moment. People are already starting to prepare for that and they're just buying some cards for teams, right? Ferlin Mendy, um, people are going out and buying this Ferlin Mendy card because his price went from 5,000 coins. He's upwards of 7K now on the market 
literally, if you go take a look at his flipping graph, he is up 2,000 coins just because I think people are going out and trying to start to prepare and investing as well for that cup. If this is you, I'd be very, very careful. I think I would still sell on the hype. I mean, that's what we like to do a lot of times. This investment is purely made off of speculation. I think there is decent reason to be a little bit speculative here, but I almost feel like the 18 players from one club thing was a mistake, and I don't know if EA is going to run another cup this next week and require 18 players from the same club again. I don't think they would do that. Again, they are EA, and sometimes they repeat themselves, but I'm just not feeling the greatest about that one. We'll have to see. Um, I would rather just chance it, and if I have to go and buy a bronze or silver player for like 5 6 k then I would just do that. Then instead of trying to make coins on it and potentially losing big if they don't do it and make it easier in that way. So whatever you want to look and however you want to face that and look at that, that's one thing that's kind of happening on the market after the leaks from yesterday. But guess what? We're not done looking at leaked cards. We have one more to take a look at. And this one is actually a footies favorite as the leak. This is what I think will be our December footies favorite. And I think this is the best representation of a true footies favorite so far. We have had DePaul and Cavallero as SBCs, but this card, when it was released back in December, was truly a favorite. If you remember his road to the, um, no, no, team of the group stage, Tiago Jallo, the perfect link to Renato Sanchez. In my opinion, you guys want to do this card. I want to do this card. You guys should do this card because I still still think there is a special Renato Sanchez to come this year in FIFA, and this would be a perfect link to his card, provided that he doesn't transfer and that EA release him with like a transferred card before the end of the year. I think they would do a footies Renato Sanchez. So this Tiago Jallo is probably one that you'll want to do, and that is why he has hype. This card has been a great moneymaker all year long. If you guys remember trading with this item earlier on in the year, he was very rare, had great fluctuations, almost 10 million games played. Is pretty nuts. He was super duper expensive right away. And he's, he's been pretty good. Like he was still 300K in March. And he really didn't drop off a lot until the, the past month in May during team of the season and stuff like that. So really good card. Hopefully he gets, you know, like a four star weak foot. That'd be nice. He does have the medium high work rates, which is good. High and average plus body type. So uh, these stats, I believe as well, are predicted. They are not confirmed. But I think even because of this leak yesterday, you had the existing version of Renato Sanchez on this game, which is the UCL Live 87, start to go up in price. Um, and he went up a lot, basically just because of that one leak. He went from 130k up to 230. He's still at 230,000 coins. Uh, so there's that. I think a card of this level is really good. He doesn't look as mental as some other cards. People will be like, oh my goodness, 84 passing in July kind of sucks. But you know, I still think that's a very good card that a lot of people will get excited about. And again, like I said, that is a true favorite, right? This was a card that was very hyped. Look at this, 4,500 upvotes and very, very hyped when he was released in December. So GG's to EA, if this is actually our December footies favorite, I don't think that it would drop until after the weekend or at least sometime after Friday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Um, probably on Friday, actually, if I think about it, that's when they dropped DePaul. So that's kind of what I'd be looking forward to in that sort of time frame on this game. Now, also, like I mentioned, all 50 summer swap tokens have been dropped and I'm going to leave a link to this tweet down in the description. If you want to take a look at this and maybe figure out, Hey, what swap tokens do I need to do and get done? The silver stars is going away today. The Wijnaldum to PSG is going away. So if you have like a last few number of tokens that you want to try and do to get a last second reward, or if you're now just planning to see how many you have left to do or whatever, I want to make sure you guys have a good access to this link down below in the description. We now have all 50. It's crazy. It's been a wild ride. 50 tokens. It seemed like so many at the beginning and time has just flown by uh, throughout this whole summer swaps token fiasco or bonanza, I guess you could call it. Biggest swap token um, swaps ever and it's a W, right? I think we were very happy with it. The grindability was there. Great players, great packs and I think we were all happy with it. So it's crazy that it's come to an end. Uh, we're still going to have the packs for a few more days, but all of the tokens have been released. Now, Let's talk a little bit more about the market because what I mentioned at the beginning of this video too with the Cancelo, uh, this is, I like, especially with that Lodi coming in, man, I, I think that running Lodi card will be so very popular for a lot of people. I know that a lot of people just did Luis Diaz. I understand that. Um, but I think that a running Lodi Brazilian left back card would be very, very hype. And this draw Cancelo, he's literally up 80 
thousand coins from where he was. And again, I could take a look at a plethora of Premier League cards here on the market that have risen up in price a lot. And you might be like, Nate, what about, you know, these cards still have some value, right? They do because a lot of people did Premier League SBCs and Premier League objectives to get the Havertz, the Mount, the James. And I understand those links are still going to be valuable. But the real reason that I think for team of the season cards specifically, that you want to be very careful with some of these is the fact that they are going to be coming back into packs. And I think that's going to drop a lot of these cards on the market. Now, for the shapeshifter cards, I still think these have potential to drop because also at this stage of the game, it's summertime, people are losing coins, and there's cards that are back in packs, and the whole market's being devalued. I would expect the shapeshifters um, that have Premier League rises from this last week you know, I would expect some of these guys to drop down in price as well as people are continually doing SBCs. And what that means is they're basically continually losing coins on this game. Rashford's still 1.6 mil. I bought him for 1.25 last Friday, right? The panic this Friday is probably not going to be as insane already looking from this far out. But specifically for team of the season cards, I think they're going to start re-releasing some of these. So like the Cancelo that I mentioned, the Salah, just taking a look through some of these team of the season cards that are still decently high in price. You know, I kind of have a problem with, you know, even like this team of the season, Messi, is still 770,000 coins. The team of the year is a better card, and he was down at like 770. He's now up to 818K, still in packs right now for batch one. And with the team of the season coming back into packs, like I could sincerely see this team of the season, Messi, being like 600, 550K, even lower than that, maybe this weekend with more lining rounds, more re-release impacts and stuff like that, and the panic selling yet to come on some of these cards. So I would just keep an eye on stuff like that and just scroll through some of these TOTS leagues. Guys like Paqueta, guys like Ben Yedder, Neymar probably going to be in packs this weekend. You're going to see some fluctuations on his type of card. And you might be like, Nate, but look at all these TOTS cards. They're super duper cheap already. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Like Joao Felix used to be 800,000 coins a few weeks ago. I mean, it's actually been about a month ago now since he was 800K, but he's already down to 300,000 coins. That card's probably going to be like 150 or 200 by the time we hit it this weekend, right? Or or a guy like Benzema, it's probably going to be 800K. Vinny Jr., with all the links that he's going to have, is probably still going to get panic sold. While he's in high demand, you know, this Vinny Jr. might end up being like 1.5, 1.4 million coins and, and drop down four to 500K as we get into this weekend. That's the kind of stuff that I'm trying to stay ahead of the curve on with you guys at the moment. You know a card that I think is actually gonna drop a lot is this Eder Militao. I know he's got a lot of links. I know he's very popular. He has rebounded up a ton because of like the Bale SBC, some of the other Brazilian and La Liga links that we have right now in this game. But I think after Thiago Jalo comes out, um, and I know it might even be a La Liga push this weekend, his card being back in packs will trump the fact that he might still have a lot of demand because of the Lodi, because of the Cunha. So I, I would not be, if, if this card, which I believe it has gone up since those leaks, right? 318K, he went to 370. He was back down to 330. If this card has a high point, I would sell, right? I have learned this year, what have we talked about many times? Don't mess with the supply. I don't want to mess with the supply on a card like this. That's why I'm saying, as for especially a lot of team of the seasons, I would take the money. If you're not worried about losing coins, that's completely fine as well. But I just wanted to talk about that in today's video because I thought it was very prevalent to the situation of where we are at in this game at the moment. I even have a Tiago Jallo. I think I packed him from something. And on the market right now, he is 11,000 coins. Wow. He is literally discard value for an 85. And that's what happens when you have all these cards back in packs during footies and you get all the re-release you get all the supply and that's why again another reason why i wouldn't want to hold on to these guys too much throughout this week i also want to take a look probably in tomorrow's video and later on and even into friday at guys like coutinho guys like neymar winter wild cards batch one cards could there be any rebounds in price i think there's a little bit of potential for that but i think we're going to cover that in the next video especially as we happen to see what happens today on fifa on a wednesday i'm just really curious to see if we end up getting that Kingsley Coman or maybe even the Thiago Jallo early. I think Kingsley Coman would be my guess for a card that could drop a little bit early. We will just have to see. But Footies Batch 2 and another Footies Friday is fastly approaching and we have some more leaks. 
And we're going to continue to watch those to see if any more come out throughout the rest of this week. But with all the content that's going on right now and a lot of the SBCs that we're having, it's really hard to not be excited about the game unless you're just kind of mudded. If your club is mudded like EA seems they're trying to do at the moment, I completely understand that. So be strategic with your fodder. Be strategic with your, your packs and your grind. There's packs out there to go and grind and get if you really want fodder. You can put the effort in, but sometimes it's the struggle of July. You may not want to put that effort in. So that's the kind of conundrum that we're just kind of experiencing in this game right now. Needing fodder, maybe not having the motivation to go and get it. But also we know that more 85 times 10s and more footies cards, including Team of the Seasons, are coming in packs pretty soon with more footies cards being released via SPCs and objectives. So it's still going to be fun times in footies. It's just kind of rebranding the footies in packs items and we'll see pretty soon about that hopefully we get a uh, vote today maybe a loading screen wouldn't expect it and hopefully we get some good content from esports as well but if you enjoyed today's video smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate the foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace